rock solid. What's going on everyone? Thank you for clicking on today's video. We're gonna go ahead and take a little detour from my usual fishing videos and talk about the Diamondback Switchback from my 2024 Toyota Tundra. So this video is gonna be an overview of the Diamondback Switchback and why I chose it. And I'm gonna offer some tips on installation process. So let's go ahead and jump right into it. There were a few things that I was looking for in the bed cover. And the first thing that was on my mind was 100% weatherproof as possible. So with the Diamondback Switchback, it's basically a bed cover cap and there's weather sealed gaskets around the bed cover. And that pretty much keeps rain, dirt, dust out of the bed. And I needed something like that because I live in Houston, Texas and it rains a lot. And I also do a lot of fishing um, down in the Gulf Coast. So I need something to protect my fishing gear uh, from the salt water and the sun and all the elements. So security was another factor uh, when I was looking at bed covers. Um, so this switchback is built tough. I mean, it's rock solid. It holds up to 400 pounds on top. So if you really think about it, to break into it, you're gonna need a jackhammer. So it gives me a peace of mind that I can leave all my personal belongings in the bed and not worry about anyone stealing it. So I wanted a bed cover that was easy to install and easy to remove. And with the Diamondback switchback, it's held on by four clamps on the panel that's closest to the cab. And of course, you got the two locking mechanisms on the panel by the tailgate. So it's, it's really simple to put on and take off. I was looking for something that had lifetime warranty and Diamondback offers lifetime warranty on parts and manufacture. More on that later in this video. So I live in Texas. This is truck country. Everyone drives a truck around here. And I'm starting to see a lot more of this new generation Tundras on the, on the road. So I wanted something that looks good and looks different from all the other Tundras. So installation was extremely easy. It took me under an hour uh, from unboxing all the way to the install, the last step of the install. So Diamondback provides you with some beetle tape. Make sure you use that beetle tape all around the, uh, the top of the bed, uh, the bulkhead especially, where you can fill in the holes and the gaps. I used rubbing alcohol and I wiped down as much as I could to remove all the dirt and grime. So the cover weighs roughly about 80 pounds. It was a bit awkward for me to, to lift it onto the bed and then from the bed, put it on the, uh, the, the bed caps. Uh, so if you have someone to lend your hand, it'd be a lot easier. So once you have the cover on, um, just make sure you square it up. Just take a step back and look at it, make sure it's aligned with the bed. So they give you four clamps, uh, and you clamp those to the panel closest to the cab. And after you secure those clamps, you're pretty much done with the whole installation. It's really simple, really easy to do. So after you complete the install, give it about 24 to 48 hours for the weather strip and the beauty tape to settle and conform to your bed. So kind of resist from trying to open it and close it. Just give it some time. So I did notice that for my Tundra, I have the auto tailgate uh, release and it's not working at the moment. The reason why is because the weather stripping on the tailgate panel is hugging the tailgate. So you get to apply a little bit of force to pull it down. And I read around the internet that you can add some uh, auto silicone spray to kind of help with that. Gas mileage, I've driven around with the bed cover for about 300 miles and I noticed about half a mile increase. Not much, but it's still an increase. Now let's go back to the warranty. So I made my first claim uh, after I installed the bed cover. So after I installed the cover, I noticed that there were uh, little tiny tears along a short piece of the weather strip. I took some pictures, went online, submitted the warranty with the pictures, and within 30 minutes, they responded back to say, hey, we're sorry, we're gonna go ahead and send you uh, some new weather strip to replace it. And I received it in two days. If you have any other questions about the Diamondback Switchback, go ahead and feel free to leave your questions down below and I'll try to answer them for you. If you have questions about the Toyota Tundra, I can also answer those as well. Thanks for watching, I'll see you soon.